Hey guys, Alexander here, back with another video, and in fact, the final video for the negative binomial distribution. In this video, I will be showing you two methods for deriving the moment generating function of the negative binomial distribution. The first method will make use of the geometric distribution's moment generating function, as well as the relationship between the geometric distribution and the negative binomial distribution. The second method will make use of the negative binomial series uh, expansions formula, and it will also make use of the definition of the moment generating function. So let's get started. Method one, we will be using the moment generating function of a geometric random variable. So let's remind ourselves, let's have a geometric random variable x1. x1 follows the geometric distribution with a success probability of p. Its moment generating function is what we are actually interested in. The moment generating function is given by p e to the t over 1 minus 1 minus p e to the t. And it's valid for t less than negative the ln of 1 minus p. So that's the moment generating function for the geometric distribution. If you don't recall how to derive this, then please refer to my video covering the moment generating function of the geometric distribution. In the introduction to the negative binomial distribution, you saw that I stated that if we let y be equal to the summation from i is 1 to r of xi, where each xi is distributed iid, independent identically distributed as geometric random variables with a success probability of p, then we know that y will follow the negative binomial distribution with r number of successes and p being the success probability. So let's make use of a property of the moment generating function. If we have m y of t, this is equal to m, the moment generating function of the summation from i is 1 to r of x i of t. And if we expand this summation operator, it becomes the m of x1 plus x2 plus all the way up to xr of t. Now, these r random variables are each independent and identically distributed. So we can write this moment generating function of the sum as the product of the individual random variables moment generating functions, which is equal to mx1 of t times m x2 of t, all the way up to m x r of t. So there are r random variables. Yeah? So we're, time, we're multiplying the moment generating function with itself r times. So we know that, that the moment generating function of y, which is the negative binomial distribution, is given by p e to the t over 1 minus 1 minus p e to the t. All of this, the power of r, and it's still valid for the same values of t having to be less than negative the ln of 1 minus p. So that's how we go about deriving the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution. And this is a, a negative binomial distribution modeling the number of trials until we reach our r success. So just a reminder, this y models the number of trials till the rth success. Just so that there can't be any ambiguity about which formulation of the negative binomial distribution we are talking about. So that's how we derive the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution by making use of the relation of the negative binomial distribution to the geometric distribution and making use of the geometric distribution's moment generating function that we derived in, in an earlier video. Okay, so let's tackle method two. Now let's start off method two by first quoting the negative binomial theorem or the negative binomial expansion. If we have one over one minus a to the power of r, where a is a constant, then this is can be represented by this following summation. It's the summation from y is 0 to infinity of r plus y minus 1, choose y, times the constant a to the power of 
y. This can also be written as the summation of y is 0 to infinity of r plus y minus 1 c r minus 1 and still a to the power of y. So this is what the negative binomial, the negative binomial expansion states. So let's use the definition of the moment generating function for, the bi for a negative binomial distribution. It's going to be equal to the expected value of e to the dx, which is equal to the summation from x is r all the way up to infinity of e to the tx times x minus 1 choose r minus 1 times p to the power r because we have r successes times 1 minus p to the power of x minus r. If you don't recall this probability mass function, please refer to the negative binomial distribution introduction. That video will, will cover this probability mass function. So, once we have done this, let's use a, a little substitution. If we let y equal x minus r, then we note that we can rewrite this summation operator in the terms of a summation from y is 0 to infinity. The expected value of this e to the tx, this exponent, exponential number becomes e to the t times y plus r. So the exponential, exponential function becomes changes from e to the tx to e to the t times y plus r. You'll notice that our combinations operator, the only change that occurs to it is it becomes y plus r minus 1, choose r minus 1, p stays to the power of r, and 1 minus p changes to 1 minus p to the power of y. So let's look at some constants that we are left with. We can already see that this bears a strong similarity to this form over here. We have this, this coefficient over here, this binomial coefficient, or negative binomial if you wish, coefficient over here. We have some constant already to the power of y, and we also have this exponential part over here. So let's factor out what we don't need so that we will be left inside with this with some equation in this format. So, we're left with a moment generating function of x, if we have x is distributed as a negative binomial random variable, with r successes and p being the success probability, is equal to p to the power r times e to the power of t r. We notice we can factor out this summation here of p of e to the t times y plus r because this r and t is independent of the limit of this summation operator. So we can bring this outside. Then we're left with the summation from y is 0 to infinity of y plus r minus 1 choose r minus 1 times 1 minus p times e to the t to the power of y. And we can see that this is the same coefficient as over here, and we have a constant inside this bracket that we, are, we have to the power of y, and we are summing from y is equal to 0 to infinity. So all of this by a negative binomial theorem or expansion, we know that this evaluates to 1 over 1 minus 1 minus p e to the t and all of this to the power of r. This 1 over 1 minus some constant to the power of r. So that means that the moment generating function of x is equal to p e to the t to the power of r over 1 minus 1 minus p e to the t to the power of r, which we can rewrite as p e to the t over 1 minus 1 minus p e to the t, all of this to the power of r, and the validity of t 
is only if t is less than negative ln of 1 minus p. So that's how we go about deriving the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution using the definition of its moment generating function and using the negative binomial expansions formula. So that, that concludes it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you can now see that there are two very different approaches that we can use to, re to derive the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution. The first being using the relation to the geometric distribution and using the fact that each of those individual geometric distributions are independent. And the second one relies on using the negative binomial theorem or the negative binomial expansion and using the definition of the expected value of e to the tx, which gives us the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution. Thank you very much for watching. Boer Commander out.